Alright, it's uh, Sunday morning. It's about 6.30. I figured I'd sneak out for church and take a look at this field. I hadn't been in here for a while. This is the uh, big soybean field. Planted this back on the 16th. Today is the 27th. So we've got 11 days um, under our belt here. We'll go back in here and take a look. It's the first time I've seen this a little bit. It's been kind of busy at work. I haven't had a chance to, to get back in here. So hopefully we'll see some pleasant results here. We've had rain a little bit every day. We've got a um, tropical storm coming up through Mississippi and it's been uh, dumping bands of rain across us. Uh, this is the uh, this is the big field here. Uh, let me get out and take a look at this. Looks pretty good from here so far. <clears throat> so I said we've gotten uh, we've got a lot of rain. I'm not sure how many inches. It's so spotty that we just really can't uh, really can't tell. You see the old uh, deer have been wandering through here already. I've got tracks all over the place. Hard to say if they're. Yeah, they're nip they're hitting it. They've uh, they've nipped that one right there. So they found it, and they're gonna have a taste for it. And this is gonna last very long. But uh, right now, the field is looking pretty good. I'm just kind of hoping to uh, combat these deer by just sheer numbers of plants I have in this field. So right now. Let's see what we got here. This field is wet. So what we're looking at's about uh, about four inches. Good healthy looking little plant. So you can kind of see with this uh, field tough spreader, there's areas where this thing worked really well and put out nice even consistent rows and there's others where I've got some some bare spots. So I don't quite know what to attribute that to if that's um, the cedar not working quite right, or if that's the um, just the soil. As I said, I've done nothing to the soil. There's no fertilizer. There's no lime, no pH adjustments. It is what it is. Um, so we'll walk down here a little bit. For some reason, this side of the field seem to do a little bit better. I don't quite know why that is, but this was really a rough part of the field. This was the last that we turned under and dissed up. This is full of uh, full of grass. Really tough to get this stuff to uh, to decay to a point where I could plant it. But uh, she's looking pretty good. I mean, you can't uh, You can't find much wrong with that. These deer, they will come in, they will put a hurting on it. They've been uh, they've been all through here. You see, this was just last night, probably this morning. This field's been rained on hard yesterday. But as we uh, come up here, you can see it starts looking a little better. Get to this side of the field. I don't really have an explanation for that. It kind of goes against what I would have thought. I would have thought I'd have more trouble over here. The other side I've been working for a long time. Maybe I've worked it too much. Um, but this seems to be seems to be the better side over here. Yeah, we'll. Uh, Once the deer get in here, I'm going to make short work of this. I just hope I can kind of stay ahead of them. When i got enough seed, I'm going to reseed if I have to. Um, hopefully I won't. But right now, boy, this side looks, it looks real good. Plants are coming up. They look good and healthy. The idea of the, the spacing, I mean, with this cedar, it's, it's kind of erratic. Kind of see as we walk down the row here, you get 
foot or so where you don't have a seed dropped. <clears throat> That's just kind of the nature of that beast, the way that it, um, the way it drops a seed. Kind of dumps it in the cup and rattles around. It sort of falls out just randomly wherever it uh, happens to land is where you get a plant. So. But overall, coming out good. Pretty happy with this. Now if a deer stay out of it for a little bit and let this stuff come up, I'll have a half decent looking plot here in a little bit. Let this stuff bush out and fill in. I'm sure it'll start looking better and better as time goes. But, uh, but right now I think we're in pretty good shape. This area down here was the hard area that I dissed up very lightly. And uh, that's where I had to drive the cedar down in. And as you see, I mean, it's down around this little oak tree that I left out here. That's some of the some of the better looking areas. But uh, yeah, so if you're worried about this stuff, kind of you know, planting too thick, I mean, that's not the case at all. Um, some of the spacing is is just perfect. And, spread out but you see you know, I've got areas in here where there just isn't anything. There's more deer tracks in here. I've got a pretty good deer herd in here. This is a, a little 20 acres and uh, you see I've got a clear cut on that side. i got a neighbor over here that just completely clear cut his entire 20 acres. So I'm kind of sandwiched in the middle here. And uh, but the deer herd, they're bedding over in that clear cut over there and coming across here at night. So, you know, once they, uh, once they get going on this, I don't expect this to last too long. I don't see any browse going on in here. It's like they're just walking through here. But that's a, that's a pretty good deer track there. Got some nice bucks in here. I've got a 10 point that I, I haven't been able to kill. I've seen him for two years now. I mean, I know he's still in here. Uh, like I said, I killed the biggest eight point of my life down here in the creek bottom this uh, last year. But uh, now we got some food up here for him. We'll see what happens if this, uh, this helps their antler growth and keeps them good and healthy. We'll be, we'll be ahead of the game.